Hello my dolls and welcome to another cello tip vlog. Today is the start of your intonation journey and being in tune, unlike my singing voice most likely. But this is an exciting time. It is a long and slow journey, but you had the courage to click on this video and that is absolutely incredible. Recently, I released an introductory video where I give a lot of information about intonation and some general tuning tips. If you haven't seen that, I will include that here and I encourage you to check that out. So for this beginner video, I am going to be giving you some exercises on how to train your ear to tune the perfect octave. Our cello is covered in a bunch of octaves, meaning notes that share the same pitch and sound higher and lower in relation to one another, but they share the same note. An example would be a whole bunch of C's. Right there, we have three C's in our first position. So with these octaves, it is the easiest way to start your ear training because it is very apparent when the notes are not in tune. So in this video, I'm going to give you a guide on how you can work on the perfect octave at home. You can either play along with me in this video or watch it and incorporate some of this into your practicing. Now, before I get to the exercise, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and to subscribe to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. That is an incredible way for you to support Chelly and I. And in addition, I do have other goodies in my video description, such as my Patreon. So for this video, we are going to stay within the key of C major, meaning we will not be dealing with sharps or flats, no extensions. Now, I know this video says beginner. That does not mean this is easy. I am catering these exercises based off of your knowledge of the positions on the cello and most beginners begin with first position. So that is where we're going to start your intonation adventure and in no way is this easy fluffy stuff, okay? It's something I use every single day and I really hope you guys do too after seeing this video. So for this exercise, we are going to be playing octaves with a slow and easy bow and I really want you dolls to listen. Unlike some of my other videos this will not be using the metronome because I really want you to focus on how the note sounds. Listen to the tuning. Often when we work with a metronome we are so preoccupied with being with that beat that sometimes we can miss things like tuning. So no metronome for this video, and when you do it by yourself, it also allows you to go at your own slow and comfortable pace. So we're gonna start with C, the open C string, and fourth finger on your G string. First position, all four fingers down, and our open C string. <laughs> If it's too high, move the finger down a little bit, down towards the scroll. And since we have two neighboring strings, we can smear our string crossing and create a double stop, which is when we play two strings at the same time. That is a way to hear both notes at once and that can be a really easy way to hear the tuning. Okay, notice how I am really listening to the bottom note and then the C. You usually want to tune to the lower pitch. There are some exceptions, but for now, we're gonna focus on the lower note and move up the cello. So a quick way to remember this exercise layout, 
is we're going to start with C and just follow the notes of our C major scale. D, another open string, then our E's, F, and so on. But we're going to be going back and forth a few times before moving on to the next note. So you can really take the time to listen and adjust your left hand as needed. So get your cellos or just watch and take notes and chill. Whatever you want to do, we are going to start this exercise with that slow, careful, and attentive ear training. So let's get started with our scale root of C. string one and two on the D or if you were watching I was pivoting back and forth letting go coming up to F and coming down I wasn't doing a wild top I was just slowly gliding either way works and now we're gonna move on to G open string fourth finger on the D <laughs> Double stop here. Are you in tune? There it is. Now A. from the bottom, open C string. And now let's find our A string. Okay, let's start on this C and we're gonna go down to our fourth finger. Open 
to see. This is a great way to warm up when you first take out your cello. If you need a break, it is a great way to relax with your instrument, engage your ear, and train a life skill of intonation that you will need throughout your musical journey. So we just did that pattern with a scale. But I encourage you, if you find an octave in one of your pieces or you're playing something that matches an open string, pause and use this technique. It's not just something you use in a scalar exercise. It is something you incorporate throughout your practice room and you can use it in all of your repertoire. So I hope you dolls enjoyed this exercise. And please let me know if you tried it out and what you think. Once again, my name is The Cello Doll, and you can find me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you for having Chelly and I join you in your practicing. We are always so thrilled to play along with you and help you along the way with your cello learning journey. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for some more videos on tuning. Until then, Happy woodshedding away at those octaves. Bye.